here. What I'm really thrilled to be here on Charlie's errand. Uh, I'm so excited. I would have driven all the way out to Palm Desert, even in New York, to be here. Charlie's going to have trouble with this award. She loves having a child's life in our film bombshell, and she'd actually prefer not being the center of attention. She won't mind a little bit like Joaquin, by the way. She won't mind the international part. She is international. She was raised, she was born and raised in South Africa, she speaks English, Afrikaans, she put all the Europe as a teenage model. And while still a teenager, by the way, I'm going to talk fast, I'm going to cold, and I'm so high on some bread right now. I'm going to have to slow this down, you know what I'm saying? While still a teenager, she suddenly decided to go to Hollywood and become an actress. That went out pretty well. For long, she went to great parts of the Devil's Advocate, when Joe Young and the Cider House Rules. She was so talented and beautiful, she was offered every ordinary,
anymore. I know for a fact that you're like a hundred percent sick of me at this point, and you're just too nice to admit it. And I'm so fucking grateful for that. <laughs> Favorite, favorite, most amazing people I've ever met in my entire life, and I've met Nelson Mandela. So, you're just you're good for the heart, you're good for the soul, and I one of my dreams came true. I got to work with Jay fucking Roach. Like that is so amazing. Um, so thank you for that incredible intro and supporting me through this whole process and for committing yourself to the craft of putting up with me. I think you should have won the acting awards tonight. You should have given me that. Um, but I love you. So thank you, Palm Springs. Yeah. Thank you, Harold Metzner, Metzner and the Palm Springs International Woo. I am incredibly honored to be receiving this award from you. And what a better way to start the new year than Palm Springs, right? I mean, come on. The last time I was here, it was, um, it was my kids' school field trip, and I drank myself into a daytime coma. Woo! Where? Dealing with 40 first graders, uh, so it's nice to be back under more celebratory <laughs> circumstances. Uh, so, International Star Award. Okay. Weirdly, that is how I introduce myself to strangers. <laughs> so, I'm glad someone is finally giving me validation. <laughs> Hi, Charlie's there, International Star. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm so humbled and so grateful for this acknowledgement and for your recognition of our film Bombshell. This has been such an insane ride. Uh, about a year ago, year and a half ago, I was sent the script and I called my friend Jay and was having a mild panic attack, thinking, should I do this? This is crazy, what am I doing? And I asked him for his advice, I you know, just really wanted to know what he thought. And um, I just you know, wanted his advice on whether I should take the role, and then the asshole demanded that he should direct it. So, um, but really, Jay came on board, uh, and we tackled this beast together, along with our incredible teammates, our incredible cast, our my producing partners, Wes Kono and AJ Dix, who's here tonight, and the man who gave life to this whole idea, Charles Randolph, our incredible writer, and Aaron Gilbert at Braun, Joe Drake at Lionsgate, who saved this film from movie Purgatory and made sure the story would get made and sent out into the world. So, This story is a personal one for me, and I know it's personal for a lot of women. And what drew me in initially was the complex, these complicated, complex characters at the core of the story, but what kept me going was the fact that this story taps into all of our humanity, men and women. How we deal with crisis and injustice and Systems that favor those in power and punish those who strive for that power. How we react when we see something that's wrong and how we rectify things that we realize we could have acted sooner. The events in this movie played about before Me Too or Time's Up and we have come a long way since then, but damn, we still have so far to go. to make sure these systems of abuse no longer thrive. I could, could go 
on about this film all day long, but I'm going to shut up because it's January 2nd, and I know all of you are dealing with a hangover still. So. <laughs> And thank you for the gift of being able to associate Palm Springs with this beautiful award that I almost broke instead of, you know, hanging out with hordes of children by a pool. So that truly means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you for a great week.